the assessment that I will be doing is assessing the thorax and lungs. So the assessment includes um, anterior and posterior thorax. So the techniques that I will be using are inspection, palpation, and auscultation. So the equipment that I will be using are stethoscope, skin marker, and tape measure. So hi sir, I'm Jennifer Belisa. I'm going to be your nurse for today and I'm going to assess your thorax and lungs. Can I get your name in uh, patients? I am Justin Banyares, 19 years old. So, um, so this assessment is necessary because it will determine condition of your thorax and lungs. And also, I want you to um, cooperate for me so that you can do it um, in a good way, okay? So before that, I'm just going to wash my hands and I will close all the windows, the doors, and the uh, curtains for your privacy, okay? Okay, sir. So before I start my um, assessment, I'm going to ask you a question. So first, um, is there any fa um, history of your family like illness, especially cancer? No. Okay. Um, do you have allergies um, to the right now? No. Okay. So um, what is your habit or lifestyle? Do you smoke more? No. Okay. So um, do you take medica medication? Pa? No. Okay. Um, so um, at the moment, do you have um, such a swelling, coughs, wheezing, or pain? Okay. So after asking my patient about some um, question about this history, I will going to inspect the shape, symmetry of the thorax, from the ear, and lateral view. So I'm going to compare the interior diameter to transverse the width. Okay. So it is symmetric. Second, I'm going to ins um, inspect the spinal alignment for deformities. Um, can you please stand, sir? And I'm going. I'm going to observe um, three normal curvatures, the cervical, the thoracic, and the lumbar. Okay, so the spine is, um, as I can see, the spine are um, normally aligned. So next, I'm going to assess, assess, assess the lateral deviation of the spine. So um, I'm going to observe you from a near view, and can you please um, bend forward, sir, like that? Okay, thank you, Pa. So now I'm going to palpate the posterior thorax. So there is a pattern to be followed, okay? So, um, based on my observation, there is a uniform temperature and there's no tenderness or masses. So now I'm going to palpate the posterior chest for respiratory expression. So I will ask my patient to take some deep breath. Okay, sir. Can you take um deep breath? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So now I'm going to proceed to palpating the chest for vocal or tactile frenito. So I will ask my patient to say words such as um do moon or one. Okay, sir. I want you to say um moon po. That's okay, sir. Can you say it? Moon. Okay. Moon. Again, last one. So now I'm going to perpass this thorax. Um, and there will there is a pattern to follow. Okay, sir. Just relax po. So after that, I'm going to perpass this or the diaphragmatic expression po. So I want you to relax po and relax. And now I'm going to use my tape measure to measure it. So it is 5 cm, which is the expected measurement for the diaphragmatic expression. So it is normal. So I'm going to ascultate the chest using the flat piece diaphragm of this telescope. So I will use the zigzag pattern for the procedure and I will ask my client to do um takes um to do slow deep breaths. Okay. So now I'm going to ask ascultate your chest. Talk. I want to do um, So on my findings, um, 
it's just normal. Now, I'm going to inspect the breathing pattern of my patient. So, I'm going to watch as he breathes. Okay, sir. Okay, on my um, findings, the breathing pattern is quiet, or the breathing is quiet, and it is effortless respiration. So, um, again, um, next, I'm going to inspect the coastal angle and the angle which the ribs enter the spine. Okay, sir, I'm going to watch you again. Okay, so the coastal angle is 90 degree, which is normal. I'm going to palpate his anterior chest. Okay, sir, his anterior chest. Okay, so it is normal. I'm going to palpate the anterior chest for the respiratory expression. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Now I'm going to palpate the tactile pernicus of my patient in the same manner as I did for the posterior chest. So I'm going to ask my patient to say 99. Okay, sir, can you please um, say 99? 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, next I'm going to um, percast the anterior chest systematically. Sir, just be normal. Pa. So it is normal. Next, I'm going to ask all day for my patient's trachea po using my stethoscope. Sir, just read and relax po. Also, I'm going to ask all day the anterior chest of my client using the sequence I used in the percussion. Okay, sir, just read and relax. and lungs, I can say that all is good. There's no trace of abnormalities um, like weird sounds and there's no such things like problems so it is okay.